Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on Golf Tips, we're gonna take a look at the stack and tilt golf swing with the driver in slow motion. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the nine positions of the stack and tilt golf swing from the face on camera. This is a question that's been asked quite a lot on social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Skillist, uh, WhatsApp from the same person, Attila. I hope you're watching, mate, because this video is for you. We're gonna go into details at each stage, what to look for, and give you guys some checkpoints to help you improve your golf. So first up, let's take a look at some club data and ball data from a sort of a standard stack and tilt golf swing with the driver. So pretty solid hit. So typical sort of ball flight, just pushes down the right, trying to draw back a little bit, pushed out there to around 300 yards. So yeah, probably, probably take that, just a slight push, but with the stack and tilt goal swing, we're looking to sort of push the ball onto target and try and draw it back in towards the line. So taking a look at some club data there, I hit up one degree. Uh, the swing path was four degrees from in to out. It launched around 13, carry distance 275. So definitely take that. So let's take a look at the goal swing now. Let's break it down into the nine positions. Take a look at my goal swing in slow motion. So we've taken a look at some club data there now. It's very close to sort of the tall averages. So let's take a look at the nine positions. So position one is set up. Now when I set up to the golf ball here, a few things that you'll note is that my stance is quite wide and my feet are turned out. That's really important to open up the knees and the ankles to rotate and take stress off the body. Other things you'll note here as I set up just before I pull the trigger, I just bump my hips slightly forward and you'll notice my head's pretty much in the center of my stance, but the hips may be just in front. That creates a slight side tilt with the driver. I see too many golfers that sort of lean back like this and this causes massive issues with contact. With the driver, we wanna be hitting quite level into the golf ball. We don't wanna hit excessively down or up. The other thing you'll note here is that I have the ball position on the swing center. I've talked about this in previous videos where we talked about the grid, but for the driver, we have the ball on the left heel, pretty much on the inside of my left shoulder, which is kind of like the center point of the goal swing. At this stage here, this club will be traveling quite level to the ground and it'll be swinging pretty straight into the golf ball. We don't wanna be hitting excessively into out or out to in. Other thing to note set up here would be that the handle of my driver here is pretty straight. It's maybe just slightly forward of the club head, but it's certainly not too far back and it's not leaning too far forward. So I have the handle pretty much on the inside of my left leg when I set up to the golf ball. So that's position one in the setup. Now from position one, we're gonna take a look at position two. And position two is when the shaft is parallel to the ground. Now if you're videoing your swing here, you can see how I use a circle for my head, I have a circle on my left shoulder, I have a circle on my knee, and I have a line on my right leg here, just to give you guys a sort of uh, some cues and some reference points for the swing. So by the time I get to position two here, my left shoulder's moving downwards. I'm still keeping my head in that circle, but my left shoulder's moving downwards. I'm also starting to flex my left knee as well. So left shoulder and left knee. And I'm taking the club back on a slight arc, but also just very, slightly starting to hinge the golf club. Now, by the time I get to position two here, you'll see there's a slight gap here between my hands and my right leg. So the left shoulder's moved down and there's a slight gap there as I get to shaft parallel. So this is position two. So at this stage here, I'm, my I'm keeping my head in that circle. I'm keeping my right leg on that line by the time I get to position two. So the next stage we're gonna look at is position three. So position three is when the left arm is parallel to the ground in the backswing. So at this stage here, I've continued to turn, I've continued to move my left shoulder down, I've continued to flex my left knee and straighten my right as I'm turning and tilting my shoulders. And by the time I get to left arm parallel, it's pretty much 90 degrees, maybe slightly less than 90 degrees here between my left arm and the shaft. So you can see I'll continue to sort of hinge my wrist gradually in the backswing. I'm not maxing my wrist hinge too early. So it's a gradual wrist hinge as I move my left shoulder down, my left knee down, and you'll see here this yellow line. I'm just turning my hips just inside that line. So by the time I get to position three, you can see here just under 90 degrees of angle between my left forearm and the club shaft. Now from position three to position four, I'm gonna keep turning. I'm gonna keep 
move my left knee downwards and my left shoulder, it's gonna tilt. But by the time I get to the top here, now this is very different now to an iron. If you looked at my video recently, talking about my iron swing, you'd see that the swing's a lot shorter and there's less rotation with an iron. So with a driver here, my shoulders are gonna be turning around 100 degrees. So my shoulders here are past 90. My right leg is straightening the most. You actually, we're gonna take a look at this from the side view next week, but you'll see that my right leg will almost be dead straight by the time, just before I get to the top of my backswing, then it's gonna actually start to regain flexion. But I'm actually keeping my left arm pretty straight, and my right arm will be bent around 90 degrees. Okay, I'm not bending it too much. One of the biggest mistakes I see with a driver, a golfer, is that they don't load their wrists enough and they start flexing these arms. I see this a lot. And golfers that tend to sort of move their head and sway off the golf ball. So by the time I get to position four, the cues we're looking for are the head pretty much in the circle, the shoulders turned around 90 degrees, the appearance of this left arm being very straight is almost pretty much covering my right arm at this stage. And also, what you'll note is that by the time I get to position four, my right leg here is turning just inside of that yellow line. So I'm not swaying through that line. So make sure when you're videoing your golf swing and the backswing, you don't see a visible sway in the backswing. You don't see the arms breaking down. And you've got to try and keep that head in that circle for as much as possible. So from position four to position five, what you'll start to notice is that my hips will start to bump forward as I turn. And also the angle in the backswing we saw position three, this is just under 90. By the time you get to position five, this angle is getting less. It's around 55 to 60 degrees now between my left arm and the shaft. So you'll see how I'm bumping my hip forward and I'm creating less angle here, lag in the golf swing. I'm not casting it out. One of the biggest issues I see with some golfers is they swing down, they actually lose this angle and they start casting the golf club and that causes a whole host of problems. So by the time we get to position five, you'll notice that my hand path is now more to the left as I swing down and the wrist angle is increasing still. So my wrist angle is continually flexing backwards as I start down to position five. So from position five, we're gonna to move to position six. So position six is when the shaft is parallel to the ground. At this stage here, from position five to position six, my hips are gonna to continue to move to the left as I'm pushing my weight forward. By this stage, you'll see how my left knee and my left shoulder are just in front of where they started. As I'm pushing my weight, my right foot is starting to bank and slide inwards as I do this. And the handle, the checkpoint for the handle would be pretty much over the middle of my right leg at this stage. So this is position six, one of the most important positions in the swing. My left arm's still straight, my right arm's still bent, but what you'll notice is that by this stage, that hands pretty much over that leg, and that's just really key. When you're videoing your swing, it's important that there's no gap here between your hands and your right leg when you get to position six. So at position six here, the butt of my golf club is at its lowest point. From here, that handle will start to raise as I start to extend my legs and come out of the forward bend of my shoulders. So my shoulders will be tilted to the right as I hit the golf ball, but I'm actually starting to push up off the ground as I go through. I'm starting to push my belt buckle forward and upwards. So the hand of the club will be its lowest at position six, and it's starting to raise as it comes into the golf ball. Now position seven, obviously one of the key areas of the golf swing, you'll see how my hips are pushed more forward. My head's pretty much in the circle, and the handle is more forward than it was at setup. This is really key. So when you take a look at the best golfers, they actually have the handle forward. Now, this doesn't mean that you're gonna hit down on the golf ball. You saw that I hit up one degree, and that's because I'm extending my body and my legs as I push up off the ground as I go through. Even though the handle's forward, I'm still hitting up slightly on the golf ball. So the impact position with the hands forward is one of the most important things. This will help take spin off the driver. Too many golfers I see, they have the handle back, adds loft, as add spin to the shot as well. So you lose distance that way. So when the best golfers hit through, they have the handle forward. So they're reducing the spin loft and the loft on the golf club to hit that ball as far as they can. So from position seven to position eight, 
as I go through, I'm starting to extend my legs as I push off the ground. I'm starting to raise my belt. My right foot is sliding forward. And then by the time I get to right arm parallel position eight, you'll see how I'm starting to re-hinge it. So I'm pushing forward, pushing all my weight forward and bending backwards as I go through. This is what raises the butt of the club as it goes through. One of the shallowing pieces of the golf swing. So from position eight, I'm gonna continue to turn as I go through and you'll notice where my hands finish here. So from position eight, I continue to turn my shoulders and my hips as I go through. My hands will finish roughly on my head here. And the angle between my left arm and the shaft here is close to 90 degrees. And my right elbow will be starting to flex as it gets through to the finish. So from position eight, it's starting to flex. And then by the time it gets to position nine at the finish, that left elbow or left arm will be pretty much flexed to 90 and the right arm will be slightly bent too. So at eight, my right arm is dead straight, my left arm is starting to flex and by the time I finish, the right arm is starting to flex too and the left arm's around 90 and you can see where my hands are finished. So by the time I finish there, hands are by my head, hips are forward, bending backwards, and I'm turned past 90 degrees as I get to the finish. So the purpose of hitting the golf ball is to swing pretty straight into the golf ball, maybe slightly into out and quite level with the angle of attack. So just to go through that again, nice wide stance, feet turned out, hands just on the inside of the left leg, making sure that you, you turn, extend, tilt, move the left shoulder down, keep the arm straight and then push up off the ground. You'll see I'll slide my right foot as I hit through. Let's give it one more go. Okay, pretty decent shot, just a slight little draw. So there have your golfers. There's the nine positions of the seconds of golf swing with the driver from the face on camera, just broken down in slow motion for you. So if you've got any more questions on that, post them in the box below. If you want to find out a little bit more about the second tilt golf swing, check out this playlist and I'll see you again next week for another video. Mm -hmm.